Let's take a look at a couple of NBA players whose career ended way too early. Welcome to Fleece TV. Let's get it. Amari Stoudemire was a 6'10 athletic big man, drafted ninth overall by Phoenix back in 2002. He quickly became a key player for the Suns, taking home Rookie of the Year honors, and steadily improved his game over the next few seasons. In his third year, Stoudemire had averaged 26 points and 8.9 rebounds, but in 2005-2006, he had microfracture surgery on his knee, which cost him all but three games the entire season. Despite the setbacks, Stat would continue to flourish, but would once again face injury concerns when he had surgery to repair a detached retina in 2009. In his final year with Phoenix in 2010, Stoudemire was selected to his fifth All-Star team and later that summer, opted out of his contract to sign with the Knicks. Stoudemire played in New York for four and a half seasons before being waived in 2015 once his performance declined due to injuries, before later signing with the Dallas Mavericks and the Miami Heat. In 2016, he retired with the New York Knicks, signing a one-day contract to make it official at the age of 33. Gilbert Arenas came onto the NBA scene with great promise but faced challenges towards the end of his career. Chosen 31st in the 2001 draft by the Golden State Warriors, Agent Zero stands out as one of the best second round picks in history. He chose to wear the number zero on his jersey as a nod to those who doubted his potential playing time in the league. After a solid rookie season with the Warriors, he earned himself the Most Improved Player Award in 2003. He then joined the Washington Wizards where he cemented his superstar status, averaging an impressive 29.3 points per game in 2005-2006. However, a knee injury in the 2007-2008 season marked the beginnings of his struggles, limiting him to just 13 games. But it was in 2009 where Agent Zero's career took another sharp turn. Arenas was suspended indefinitely after an incident involving bringing firearms to the locker room caused by an altercation over a gambling debt with teammate Javaris Crittenton. By 2011, the Wizards traded Arenas to Orlando, followed by a brief stop with Memphis, but his talent was ultimately overshadowed by injuries and controversy. Yao Ming's presence was immediately felt the moment he got to the NBA as he had already made a name for himself in the Chinese Basketball Association. Standing at a massive 7 foot 6, Yao was selected first overall in 2002 by the Houston Rockets. In his first two NBA seasons, he played all 82 games, putting up impressive numbers, which landed him all-star recognition, but then injuries started to become a factor. In his fourth year, a toe injury limited him to 57 games and the following seasons saw Yao dealing with various injuries leading to limited playing time. At the end of the 2010-11 season, after only playing five games due to a stress fracture in his left ankle, Yao faced the inevitable. As his contract with the Rockets wrapped up, he chose to hang up his boots at the age of 30. Yao Ming was a cultural ambassador, playing a major role in expanding the NBA's global reach, and despite a short NBA career, his impact was special, and had he remained injury-free, he could have went down as one of the greatest centers of all time. During the late 90s and early 2000s, Latrell Sprewell was a solid basketball player, even playing a significant role in helping the New York Knicks reach the 19th. 1999 NBA Finals. In 2003, he was traded to Minnesota, becoming part of the league's highest scoring trio alongside superstar power forward Kevin Garnett and point guard Sam Cassell. However, Sprewell's promising career took a downturn when he declined a three-year $21 million contract extension from the Timberwolves. Sprewell's choice to decline the offer left many confused, especially in light of his remarks about having a family to feed. Following a disappointing 2004-05 season, where he averaged 12.8 points per game, he never played another the game in the NBA. Even with interest from teams like the Nuggets, Cavs, and Rockets, Sprewell held out for a better deal that ultimately never happened. Though a skilled player with potential, his attitude and personal choices eventually led to his NBA exit. Drazen Petrovic was drafted by the Blazers in 1986, but he continued playing in Europe for several years before making his NBA debut in 1989 at age 25. While European players had shown talent overseas, Petrovic was the first to achieve any significant NBA success. Despite Despite initial challenges in Portland, a trade to the New Jersey Nets marked a major turning point for his career in the big leagues. With increased playing time, Petrovic showcased his scoring abilities, particularly from the three-point range, averaging as high as 22.3 points in a season. After his career 1992-1993 year, Petrovic contemplated leaving the Nets to return playing in Europe. Later that summer, after a qualifying tournament for Eurobasket in Poland, Petrovic headed back to his native Croatia to enjoy his vacation. While driving from Poland to Croatia, the 28-year-old's life and career were cut short just as his stardom was taken off as he was tragically killed in a car crash. In his brief NBA stint, Petrovic left a legacy that continues to influence both the NBA and international basketball. 